Uh, well, I'm John Hogan. Um, I am 31 years of age. Uh, I'm a blacksmith based in Kalala, the, the west coast of Ireland. Um, I do kind of hand forged decorative iron work, uh, staircases, gates, furniture, sculptures, um, all that kind of stuff. And it's quite difficult down here, I suppose, because um, there's not the money that there is on the east coast. But uh, for myself, I was born in the west coast, I was raised here. Uh, lived for a while on the east coast and it's the, the standard of living that kind of brought me back here. When I was living in Dublin, it's there's very little to do after you finish work on a, on a Friday or on a evening, whereas here I can be home in five minutes. You know, I mean, it, I'm five minutes from the house, you know, it's not two hours in traffic and I'm another five minutes and I can be on the beach, you know. Um, even though we don't really have the weather for us down here, I do, I do enjoy bringing the dog down to the beach or, you know, uh, it's just a nicer standard of a living, you know. It's kind of what brought me back down here, you know. This blacksmithing course came up, which had just opened uh, out in Balmullet, which is about as far west as you can go without hitting America. It's really out there. And uh, so I signed up for that, and it was a two-year uh, traditional blacksmith, and that was basically it, you know. We just worked with a coal forge and an anvil, and they taught us a bit of welding and that, but it was basically just using doing the traditional techniques. I did two years of that. I was the youngest on the course, and uh, straight away out of that, uh, I got offered a job. One of the examiners uh, on the course owned a company in Dublin, big company in Dublin, and he offered me a job straight out of that. So I went up to Dublin, worked there for uh, about five years, and did quite well there. Did a lot of staircases. They had very good clients, very big clients. They'd, you know, do a lot of big staircases, and I'd, I'd take on those commissions myself, just, you know, do all the work myself. So um, I was well capable of making staircases. I knew the ins and outs of all that kind of work. So then I just kind of decided uh, to set up myself and uh, move back down here and started setting up. First year or two was um, tough enough, and then the recession hit, and it got tougher. But it seems to be, you know, it seems to be going okay, you've been able to get my head above water and like I said it's a nice kind of standard living down here you know. Well ideally um, I suppose uh, moving into the more kind of sculptural side of it you know um, I just got my first commission there for the, the salmon sculpture um, and hopefully that'll be a kind of a gateway but I, I, I do like doing the staircases in the case the big stuff like that because I'm trying to hit a couple of different markets at the same time I can do staircases you know I can travel for an hour or two and do them in Galway or Sligo or whatever it is it's not a problem but I also kind of focus on local business as well you know just work that I keep you ticking over and then kind of the sculpture things as well you know I'm applying for different sculptures all the time to try and get them so you really kind of have to you have to try everything just to keep to get a, a bit of work you know that's the, the way I found it anyway and ideally I would like to have one or two people working with me here, one or two people that were capable that, you know, that I could I could trust with work and, um, yeah, just, just kind of have a st steady business out of it, you know. Um, that'd kind of be what I'd be hoping for in the next couple of years.